What's up guys? Welcome to the new and improved Coach's Corner video. Big upgrade here. If you watch the original Coach's Corner videos, this looks much better. I'm super happy with this setup. Really happy to be making this for you guys. Um, I'm looking forward to doing these at the end of every cycle um, in between, you know, the one we just finished and the one that's coming up. It's going to be a great way for us to review all the work we just put in, kind of the results from the previous training cycle, and then give you a great preview as to what's coming up next. Um, we just wrapped up our winter 2023 strength training cycle. Um, I loved it. I think this was kind of the first, not the first, it was my favorite cycle since I've been here at Oxfit, and I really think it was all because we had these. Um, these scorecards were so helpful to set that framework, not only for you guys, but for me as well. It's just a constant reminder of what we're working towards. Every single workout, you could have looked at it, and if you asked, why are we doing that? You would have been able to look at this scorecard and say, oh, right, because we're going to test a five rep max deadlift at the end of this. So um, I think they were a great way to kind of ground us in the cycle and keep reminding us of what we're working towards. Um, this was a strength training cycle, but it was also, in my opinion, kind of a back to basics, if you will. We focused on that deadlift, back squat, and bench press. Those are our foundational Oxfit powerlifting movements. You've probably seen them on the athlete levels that are posted on the back wall in the gym. We built to a five rep max in all of those lifts. We also had a focus on strict gymnastics, so building up that base strength in our strict pull-ups, chin-ups, and push-ups, which all of that strength we built will translate into the cycle we have coming up, and I'll talk about that in a minute. Um, not only did we build strength, but we put in so much hard work during our fall endurance cycle, and I really wanted to keep that up for you guys so we could go into 2024 feeling really well-rounded, feeling really fit, feeling strong, and you know, not in a place where we have to take you know two steps back to kind of get back to where we were. And after reviewing all of the scorecards from this cycle and kind of looking at everyone's results, we definitely did that. We got fitter and we got stronger. Um, I took a sample pool of about 30 to 40 scorecards um, from people from Grant Park, from East Atlanta, different class times. Um, these were scorecards that were completely filled out and they were people that I knew had had moderate to good attendance in the gym. Um, and from those people, just our regular everyday athletes coming three to five days a week and putting in the work, we had an average increase of 50 pounds across our three key lifts. We had an average increase of 70 reps in our workouts that were measuring our fitness. So our ability to complete a certain amount of reps within a time limit, 70 rep increase. Um, which is insane. Um, I was so happy to see those results, um, and I hope you guys are too. It's an amazing accomplishment. It's really just a testament to what happens whenever you work hard, you have a focus, and you just show up and put in the work every day in class. So way to go, you guys. That's amazing. Um, from that sample pool, I took about 10 scorecards that I feel like really exemplify who we are at Oxfit, who are Oxfit athletes, and what can be done just by coming to class. Um, and I just want to brag on some people a little bit and just, you know, kind of use it as an example. I mean, we've got Dave, 5.30 a.m. member here at Grant Park, busy guy, two kids, comes to class four to five days a week, added 30 pounds to his lifts, and added 72 reps to all of his workouts. Insane. Megan over at EAV, 6 a.m. regular, once again, busy lady, two kids, working mom, added 40 pounds to her lifts and 72 reps. Those two have been members of Oxfit for a long time. It's not like they just joined. So they've been here working and they were able to get those results just by coming to class consistently across this cycle. Michaela busts her ass in the hospital and then comes to work out after work consistent four to five days a week, added 20 pounds to her lifts, added 20 reps to her workouts. Um, and all of 
these folks are more of the same. These are just regular people. These are people with busy lives, busy schedules. A lot of them have kids. A lot of them went on vacation in the middle of the cycle. The difference is, is that these are people that consistently show up and when they do show up, they approach these workouts with the priorities of having fun and just getting a little bit better. Um, and that's all I ask of you guys. I want this to be a place that you're excited to come to because you see the value in hard work and challenging yourself to work on your weaknesses. And if you do that and you just keep showing up to class, being positive, having goals for your workouts, you're coachable, then your scorecards are gonna be filled with PRs and we're gonna have proof that we've gotten better at the end of the cycle. So if you weren't able to really dive into this uh, during this winter cycle, we're doing another one, no worries. It's gonna come out next week, um, a week ahead of our baseline week. So you guys will have plenty of time to get one of these uh, when you come to the gym for spring. We've got a brand new scorecard, brand new workouts. Um, and I'm excited for this next cycle. I've got my version of the scorecard for spring behind me. You guys are gonna get the official one that looks like this. Um, we're gonna continue with a strength training focus in a way it's going to feel a little bit different um, we're going to shift to a lesser focus on our powerlifting movements we're going to have more of a focus on our oxfit foundational weightlifting movements which you can also see those on the athlete levels that's going to be a power clean a front squat and a push press focus so in this cycle i'm going to ask you guys to baseline week test that one rep max power clean you're also going to test a one rep max thruster those are going to be our only one reps and then we're going to have a workout that involves high volume of heavy front squats and heavy push press which is basically just that thruster broken down um, across this cycle across the workouts that we're going to have in the spring um, i'm basically basically going to be asking you guys to use all that strength we built in the winter to continue moving heavy weights. I just want us to do it faster and a higher volume of reps. So these workouts are going to look on paper like a fit workout. Um, they're gonna be shorter in terms of time domain, but the weight that I'm gonna be asking you guys to move is going to be a lot more. Um, so it's really gonna challenge us to increase our power output and our stamina when it comes to throwing these weights around. So. I'm super excited. We've got some heavy, heavy kettlebell swings. We're also going to be adding in more of the kipping to our gymnastics. So we should have a good base from all those strict pull-ups and chin-ups and push-ups. We're gonna move into those kipping pull-ups, kipping chest-to-bar, bar muscle-ups, and kipping toes-to-bar. Um, so introducing a lot more technique to this cycle. So keep that in mind when you're learning everyone's on their own journey some of these movements i know we may have never done before and that's totally fine because that's why we're here that's why we have a baseline week just remember we've got eight weeks of work coming up before we retest those movements um, so yeah just treat treat baseline week like it's meant to be treated it's a starting point all right we're not expecting you to just crush these workouts right out the gate um, so yeah i just want you guys to have fun Get excited for this next cycle right now we are wrapping up kind of a weird week in the gym and then in terms of schedule and then next week we're gonna have bring a friend week first week of 2024 if you have any friends that want to come please invite them bring them to work out with you show them your scorecard from winter get them excited about what we've got coming up for spring um, spring baseline January 8th that's a Monday second week of January it's all gonna go down test some amazing workouts, set a baseline, and then we're gonna get busy. So, excited to see you guys in the gym. Make sure you get a few workouts under your belt before baseline week. You will thank yourself if you do. I'll see you guys around, let's go.